Oh, well, let's hope that the beer isn't like the football team. Thank you for having me. You know what I really like? Beer. Yeah. England may lose, but at least we have beer. Belgian beer at that. Oh, so England are in red. And um, we just found out that this line, this referee has sent off nine people recently. Oh, really? Yeah, so... um. Deli Ali for diving. I'm being petulant. So, so they're saying Sterling's going to play up top with Kane. So it's like a. F Do we believe that for a second? I like that. I like that starting lineup. I think that's. I think mean, that's. I think that, that's what we that expected. Was what played against Nigeria, wasn't it? But I think. Yeah. Uh, I think that's. Look at him. He's ready. His hair is ready, at least. Oh, well, that guy could probably use with cutting his hair. He's a manager. There's not much there. Oh! Looks dapper, doesn't he, Gareth? He does. He's in a three piece suit for a football match. He's dapper. He's got his own. I think that's kind of like. I've seen him wear t shirts at tournaments before. Him wear t shirts at tournaments. I've seen other man England managers wear t shirts at tournaments before. I seem to remember. Um, I feel like Roy everywhere except the match would probably have worn something. I think I think during a day game, I remember Roy Hodgson wearing a polo. Okay, no, I, I don't mind a polo. I just mean three piece suits quite uh yeah, it's quite an intense. Maybe he's got a dinner plans after this. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a lovely Russian lady lined up. For oh after my this. word, that's on camera. Svetlana. Svetlana. <laughs> well, no other Russian ladies are available. What? I'm already. Do you know? I, I I already instantly did the stupid thing. I thought England were in white. Yeah, so did I. I don't like Stones having the ball, really. No. Does anybody like John Stones having the ball? Okay. Even Pat Guardiola keeps trying to keep it away from him now. Is this probably the... Is this probably going to be the... Um, Hardest game England playing this World Cup, yes. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, like, the, the lowest England fan turnout of a tournament. They reckon, that's, they reckon there's not that many England fans. Well, it doesn't help that the foreign ministry or whatever is like, oh, you're going to be a victim of a crime. They did, like, put this big fear campaign on. I was listening to TalkSport earlier on and they were saying how it's such a shame that there was a fear campaign because it mm. is actually beautiful over there. And it's really nice. Oh, hello. Oh. Hello. Oh. oh, come on. Yes! Oh. Is that going to be the story of the day, is it, Tom? What, me screaming No, loudly? not you screaming loudly. Just the... the a case of so nearly's. I really hope not. That was a oh, good save. It's a great save. Great save. I'd love Lingard to score. I feel like I'm emotionally invested in Lingard as a player. It, this is going to be. This is where we're going to see a bit of Gary Cahill. Yeah, is that? Even, though, even though he's not playing. And Gary's run on the pitch. <laughs> he's pushed. Oh my goodness! Do all sides count for England? Do we, do we have, or do we, are we allowed to play anywhere? We're allowed to play anywhere because you can trust us not to score. <laughs> I um, that was one of the things that I did uh, hear about Tunisia as well. Uh, is they can have a tendency to overplay. Good. Which that will do well for this England team. Well, hopefully, because they do want to press. Don't they? We're very energetic as a nation. God, it's been a while since we've had an energetic England team. Has been, but I I think this might be one. Yeah, I do too. Oh, what was I, I was saying that. Well, up, Harry. Oh, go on, go on. Shoot, shoot. Play him in. Play him it. Shoot. Oh, oh Raheem. Flag was. Up. Oh, I don't care. Raheem said he must have known it was offside. That's why he's missed. Yeah, five minutes into a game. It's been an encouraging start. We've seen this with some other teams as well. France, um, yeah. Brazil. Who started very strongly, and then the other team just grows. Even Belgium, they grow into the game. Yeah. So I wouldn't say this is what it's going to be like for the whole match. No, because this will be like for the whole match. We're going to score seven goals. God, we won't. We score two. Why aren't we more? Why aren't they more clinical though? Because they do create a lot of chances. Well, one reason is that Raheem Sterling can't score. Yeah, well, that's one reason. But you've got Kane, and he can. Yeah. But they don't. See, they seem oh to God. only win a lot of games one nil or two nil. Um, I wouldn't. I mean, well, the only reason I know it's Jose Mourinho and not Jose is because English commentators after a little while were like, actually, we're pronouncing him a J-Mon. Remember the first time I really noticed that was when um, 
David Ginola that came into English football. Yeah. I remember before when he first came over, they were very stubborn that they were going to call him David Ginola. <laughs> and then eventually they kind of got worn down to calling him David Ginola. And the same Such a lovely with... man. Yeah. Oh my God. See, I don't mind playing around the back when other teams do it, but I hate watching them do it because we don't have a good history of it. I just, I just get, I just, just nervous. I just think we just do it for the sake of it. A little bit. At this point, Tom, would you take a point? I mean, like, do you want my honest answer? Would, would you cash out now for a point? If I made a profit, yes. <laughs> um, no, we need to win this game. I'd also like to see more than three goals. I don't know, it's just it's so typical to England draw this and be behind the eight ball again. Yeah. They're going into the second game needing a win. Yeah. So the Belgian game becomes an important game. Yeah. And then you look back in a couple of years' time and think, how did we make an effort? How did we how did we drop into fourth place somehow? It's just occurred to me that the uh, loyal loyal fans and viewers of BBO are about to see some very uncovered legs on our part, mm. which we never show. Very uncovered legs. <laughs> <laughs> our new YouTube channel. <laughs> Interestingly, seven thousand subscribers. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> all we need, all we should have done is just have a cat. These film are our, these are our film a cat for ninety minutes. This when this when all this comedy gold we're saying gets edited down to like three minutes. I think you could do it to 15. No, we do it for as long as it... I'll, I'll just go for and pick the good bit. So, so, which are basically my jokes. I was about to say, so we're just, are we just not going to put a video up? Or? Hey, I am the editor. Uh, you so are. I, what ends up on the cutting room floor, floor is all down to me. I, I, do, I do enjoy that you use a 1920s style breast and make your... <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes! Yes! Captain Kane is going to drive. Should we have a little Harry Kane one 0 Can't believe Jordan Henderson's playing. Save. What a save. He's a good keeper. He is, and he's injured. That is like the perfect person to score the goals. Well, you just oh, yeah. want Kane. You want him after to be running. like full of confidence. I'm calling it right now. We're winning this first half. <laughs> I liked it because it felt like you were going to say World Cup then, and then you uh, you backtracked. I just couldn't do it, Tom. The words just wouldn't come you know out. What? They won't ever come out, don't worry. Mm. I'm sure it will be a scene. I'm sure we'll all get men in black to work. I mean, they do win the World Cup. I'm sure we have one every World Cup. <laughs> men in black. I mean, based on the way we carry ourselves in international football, we have. How does this thing record for them? My, my oldest brother was annoyed with me, by the way. Because I've given a shout out to my middle brother who lives in Belgium and a shout out to my mum, but I've not given him a shout out. You so, probably should. So shout out, oldest brother. This is going on the cutting room floor. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, finish. Oh! <laughs> oh! Ooh, Jordan Henderson. Do I have Jordan Henderson's feeling oh. for, in for a good day? Oh, this is. <laughs> Suddenly, the, my heart grew three sizes. We've yet ah. to see the eagles sharpen their talons. Yeah, they're definitely not flying yet. They're still hopping. The lions have done a good job of uh, clipping their wings. Indeed. The weird thing to think about here, I'm just saying this. What about the eagles of America? You mean the bald eagles of America? America. Should, should I get my flag out and just wear it while we sit here? Please. Um, oh, go on! <laughs> Is this going to be the story of this, this I video? I said that early on, didn't I? No, 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 not that. The story of, our, of this entire video is going to be you and Mike putting our hands to our face oh. and just, like, disgust. And that's Deli Alley missing it. That was Slingo. He's got to, oh, Slingo. He's got to do better. He's got to do a lot better. I mean, he does He does so well for Man United yeah. in these situations. Yeah, <laughs> Sheehan's face! He was a... <laughs> he just looks so confused by what he's seeing. I want to be friends with Ashley Young. I don't know what he's even like as a person. What's his name Slitty? I miss playing football. Will, will a VAR decision influence England in this tournament? Well, let's put it this way. Do you remember that time we scored a goal against Germany and it didn't count? No. No? Because it wasn't a goal. Right. How, how much do you want to bet that something bad happens to England in a playoff match and they don't use VAR to rectify it? 
FIFA under Blatter especially couldn't give two shits about England. No, but if well, they don't need to give a shit about England. They just need to have respect yeah, for they, opinions. Well, that's what I meant. They didn't really give. They didn't. And, and as we know, it came down to they didn't bribe enough. No. Even though they did bribe. They did bribe. They heavily bribe. They heavily bribe. In fact, just not enough. Well, I don't know. I always. I. I, I just. This probably sure shouldn't go on. But I always got the opinion that England bribed and weren't good at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and like they bribe them and yeah. then they do the opposite yeah, thing. Definitely. You know, it was like kind of like when the, some of the other nations said, "Oh, oh, look at this! Oh, we've bought you this wonderful statue," and you're like inside the bottom of the statue, there's like thirty grand of cash. Yeah. Do you reckon like England just sort of gave them like, a, a tea basket and they were like searching around in the straw <laughs> and like trying to find 850 PG tips <laughs> before I find five <laughs> measly pals? <laughs> penalty. Definitely a penalty by the look of it. That's a penalty to Tunisia. No, that's fair. Well, that's not, that's fair. not going to be overturned, is it? That's so soft. They're gonna VAR it? He's getting booked for it. They gotta VAR it, right? You did saw penalty straight away. Did, did you think it was a penalty or did you just see him? I saw the arm in the face. I don't I don't know where he did it on purpose, but you saw that. Like I just saw that. Block in the run. That is a greased hair, isn't it? Because of his wonderful hair. That's the guy who said a good hair at the beginning. Good hair means good penalty taker. It is a known fact. It's Max was a good penalty fact. taker. He was until he started ballooning him over yeah. time. Yeah. Because it was a good penalty for like seven years. Then bad things happened. I thought he used to... Well, I had a theory about David Beckham penalties, which I always found quite strange. Unlucky Pickford, he came close to saving it. But it was a good penalty, and it was 1-1. Oh, just... mate. He's, he's body painted. That is... Not deserved, though, is it? My theory about Beckham taking penalties yeah. was when he used to take three kicks, he used to be able to like have his ability to like pinpoint where he wanted to put it. Yeah. But when he took penalties, he used to run up and smash it down the middle. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I think. So why? Why? I didn't ever ever understood why he just didn't take a two yard run up and put it in the corner. They're definitely taking a chunk. Oh out of my this. god! Is it Iceland? Andrew. Is it Iceland? Oh, thank God, why had Kazri or whatever his name is fell over there. Oh, come oh! on! Get a strike on it! I can't believe that. It's like he's hitting a balloon. Yeah. Oh, that's a foul. That's got to be a foul. That's a foul. If actually, if that's... He's, he's been thrown to the ground. Well, they haven't missed it. They just... They're... They just don't want to. Go, they don't want to go down that slippery slope, do they? Of starting giving every bit of contact at, pen, at corners. That was also a foul. Oh, get over it, Tunisia. They surely have got to, If we if they keep doing the, that pushing in the box, surely we've got to get a penalty eventually. That's me. Go on. Oh. oh! Really well played. Great ball. Lingard did really well. Oh. Must be hard keeping the bile in check when you're playing like that. Yeah, I suppose the like hundreds of thousands of pounds you're paid to literally commentate on yeah. like twelve matches a year helps. Yeah. I would if 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 maybe Theresa May would institute a new tax that would pay football fans back for their support. I would be in favour of the but Conservative but government. When, 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 you're in, when you're invested, though, it's a... Uh, what were they, the Seagull of Carthage? <laughs> seagull of Carthage. I'll tell you what it has done. I mean, it literally they, shit they, on they, my head they, and then they, stole some They've been like a fucking seagull. Yeah, they, they have. Like, coming in and nick the sandwiches. A little scavenger. Yeah. And it's definitely taken a shit on Carl Walker. Rub the guy rugby tackles Harry Kane at the back post and we don't get a penalty. Oh, what's wrong with you, mate? You literally stopped for a second and looked at the referee. Enjoyed that, stopping us finding another. Maybe they're mildly invested. Well, I don't doubt Mark Keane is invested. I, I, I 
you know, it must be hard for him to. Yeah. I get the feeling that he could literally like bite through like a block of wood. He probably would. <laughs> I like that. Put this in the box. Put it in the box. Oh, shut up. They're not been that good. Did they watch Spain, Portugal? We might not have seen a team play better in the comp. Mexico, Russia, Spain, Spain, Portugal, Portugal. Germany um, when they lost to Mexico, <laughs> Serbia, Serbia. Come on, England. Play with a bit of bloody purpose. The, frust like, the frustration has come away to more of a um, resigned indifference. I can't, yeah. like, I, I would be really surprised if England scored. Yeah. This is England. If we get three draws and we go out, would you say that's a good thing because we've been unbeaten? <laughs> I don't understand how you managed to make that work. So terrible. Didn't Italy do that a couple of years ago? They didn't lose in the World Cup and they went out? Yeah. <clears throat> I think New Zealand, didn't New Zealand like not lose a game as well? You added it. Can I edit out the pecan pie? No. That's been the best part of the game. <laughs> can you add it in? A barometer at the bottom of our frustration levels? <laughs> you can just say it. <laughs> Getting redder and redder. It's asking. Oh my god. You're asking. It's tough. But you're gonna I don't do know it. how I would do it. You're going to find a way. This is what I say, though, when the results dictate how you do it. Because England would generally say, have played okay. Great chances. Should be in the lead, comfortably. Mm -hmm. So you would say they've played quite well. But the result dictates everything. So when people say, I just hope, I just hope England just put, play, play some good games. No. I call them crap. <laughs> the guy called the, that's called the goal was called Sassy. No, I've seen that. Sassy and Slitty together. <laughs> <laughs> it's goal <gold> celebration. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Do you wish we had Yedene? No. But he'd score in that one, not He might. Not enough England players have good beards. No, that is true. And that's going to come back to haunt us at some point. By that, you mean no England players have beards. Harry Kane's got a good beard, isn't he? Not just stubble? Yeah, maybe it's stubble. <laughs> got to be a few. Well, that's, that's, that's a bit of a goatee. Yeah, but it is kind of like I haven't shaved for a couple of days, isn't it? I'm going to get another beer. Do you want the last? Yeah, why not? Let's go out with the last 10 minutes. I feel like the ref is on the side of Tunisia and has been the entire time. I don't care. I don't care. It's on camera now. I don't care. Tom, would it be fair to say you were a tiny bit sassy? <laughs> I always thought I was a bit slitty, but maybe I'm a bit sassy. <laughs> why did you what did you just do? What? Just happened. <laughs> Here, on. Marcus. Here's an open goal. Oh, oh. wait, no, dummy it instead. Don't do this cheeky stuff. We need to bloody get a goal. Oh. Why you got the space? Overplaying. Come on, referee. Here's 15 minutes of overtime. Is this game going to move into a third period? Do you think oh my god, you're putting your foot on the ball in the 89th minute, and, and we're not winning. And again. Yes! Yes! Come on! I take it all back. We love you, England. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> in the last minute of extra time! Hey so I don't want that 15 minutes of extra time. <laughs> I definitely, I don't know how I'm going to get a rage meter though. I think that might be a, a, a bridge to If you time. can't get a rage meter, I'm not interested in this YouTube channel. I'm more angry. Really? Now Eric Dyer? You fucking no talent ass clown. Get a real fucking job. I think we might be, that well, was I think we might be good, Tom. This is horrendous officiating. I think we might be good. Yes! Somehow, 
somehow England won this 2-1. I think it's time for our reaction.